Choose and book. Jolly unpopular, here's the front page of Pulse. Choose and book pushes up by half the proportion of patients who do not make it to hospital. GPs generally don't like it a lot. And yet, I'm here in the evening with the lovely Jane Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> who is an enthusiast. I love it. I have no problems with choosing book whatsoever. Our patients are happy with the service that they get. Yes. Today I booked an appointment for a lady. The end of the month, she would never have got that appointment under the MERC scheme. Would never. It wouldn't even have got seen by the 30th of July. Really? There she, no, it wouldn't. We wouldn't even have heard. So we've got patients that are happy with it. I'm happy with it. The fault lies with the people using it. Not because they can't use it, but because they haven't been trained to use it correctly and efficiently. But you, we weren't trained to use it. We had about a, a morning's training. And that, was, that was absolutely pathetic. And yet you worked it all out for yourself. Well, yeah, I did. I did have to work it all out for myself. But I managed it. And yeah. I think it's looking at it yes. from a different perspective. Yes. Don't follow the rigid rules. Mm. And you can make appointments for people. The one thing they don't like are the CAS schemes. I will say that they do not like the CAD scheme. South what End, are the CAD schemes? That's when you, the schemes you for send, CADs. No, it's CAS, C A S. Oh, CAS schemes. CAS schemes. Oh, no. And the problem with those is the patient gets given a date a week away. Yes. I explain it's not an appointment, but they're still not quite sure what goes on. They yes. then have to ring. The consultants look at the letters and then give them an appointment. And I find those appointments really difficult to book even though they could sometimes get an earlier appointment, the patient is just concerned and they don't like to go for them. Right. Now, I mean, what, what intrigues me is how you've become so enthusiastic, given that you couldn't have a worse situation. You've got a crusty old GP <laughs> who's very distrustful of this modern NHS IT stuff because of the, partly because of confidentiality considerations partly because look at the th machine behind you here and all the machines like it the old PCT spent hundreds of thousands and presumably the DOH and the government behind them giving them the money hundreds of thousands of pounds on this stuff and yet denying us the basic <laughs> needs to provide patient care so it's, it's, it seems to me money wasted and yet here you are you're actually doing something with it under those terrible conditions and We've got this terrible line, which oh, is, is yeah. shared with five others. That should be investigated, shouldn't it? Yeah. Shared with, with the health clinic, two practices, the chemist and us. And so here we are at, what's it, 20 past eight at night. And the reason is because we can't use it at any other time. No. Because we can't get on the we, line. We can't get on. It's just too, everything it's slows too down, every, everything stops. So 20 past eight at night. I book my choosing book. You, appointments. your husband doesn't believe what we're doing. My <laughs> wife doesn't believe, and yet here you are. And how many patients have you got on the go? We've got twenty-five plus on the go at the moment, and I've booked, I've booked about twelve on Friday. I actually made twelve referrals on Friday alone. Okay, and they get their appointments quickly, do they? They do. I mean, we're getting them within a month, maybe 30, 60 days. Right. But if the patient knows straight away yeah. when the date is. They feel so much more relaxed about it. Good. They stop worrying so much. Whereas if it's in the post somewhere, yeah. they tend to phone us all the time, haven't heard, when are we going to hear, haven't got my appointment, we end up chasing the appointment, and it's much more work. Yeah. This way, we ring them, we discuss the options, yeah. we book the appointment, and they think, okay, all I've got to do now is turn up. And yes. they're happy. So, That's good. Yes, and, and you're getting appointments quickly, you say? Yes, yeah, I've got an appointment today. Um, for a general surgeon, and I've got it for the 30th of July. Right, so and we're now the 2nd July, the 2nd of July, so that's not bad, yep, is it? So the lady in concern yes. was very, very happy with that. I mean, the one thing that does appeal to me is that we bypass things like Merck, the system they've got at Broomfield Hospital, which is absolutely oh, hopeless. Merck is ridiculous. And this terrible lady they've had there for years and years and years. Whatever the problem, you phone her up and she says, well, go and see your GP and ask him to write another letter. Mm. And we get this all the time. So at least with this, you're, they, they have... Oh, I think this is heaps better than Merck. Yes. You know, so... They're in the driving seat, you're... Uh, yeah, we are in the driving seat. We're in the driving seat as the practice 
because mm. we can help them select the best consultant. Yes. They also feel that they've got control because they can choose where they go yeah. and when they go, what time of day they go. Yeah. So, so long as you can get on the system, and that is the big problem, actually getting on the system. Even if you've got a good connection? Sometimes even the connection isn't with us, the fault lies with the hospital. I have a mm. great problem from here yeah. contacting Basildon yes. because the systems don't like each other. Right. So you have those problems. It's more software issues right. within the system that don't work. Okay. And that could be any time of the day, even even like at this time oh, of night. Yeah, any time. I mean, you don't know when the line is down. If mm. I mean, there's so there's no way they could actually send us out information sure. immediately. But that would be useful. I waste a lot of time continually because I don't know whether it's our PC, our line, or the choose and book system that's down. Mm. So I can waste half an hour just trying to work out whether it's us or them. That's my wife on the phone, by the way, saying, well, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not answering the phone, because she's, she's more worried, she's more worried <laughs> still. So, yeah. so basically, you think it's a great system if, if it was just tweaked a little bit? Tweaked a little bit, and the people using it, you need to be trusted. There needs to be a really good working relationship between yes. whoever's using it and the GP. For the GP to use it, I still find that very impractical. He yep. doesn't have time. No, hopeless. So you need to have a really close bond between whoever's booking the appointments and the GP. Right. All right? That's key to it. Okay. And you also, don't be scared of it. Don't let those tough, rigid lines that you were taught by the choose and book trainees hold mm. you back. There are ways around everything that they've said. Right. Okay. So, I mean, what's the practical... You, you said to me at one time, well, if they've got problems, I'll go and talk. This is sort of people within the town, obviously, not you can yeah. travel miles I've got along. no problem telling people how I use the system. Yes. It's up to them if they want to use it the same way. Right. But no, I have no problem telling people how I use it, how I get around it. Right. Okay. Well, fabulous. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.